All right, guys, so I have the opportunity to show you the new A-Class sedan. And this is my car, which I picked just yesterday. And we park it here at the MG Bratislava. So it's uh, easier for you to see the differences. From the front, basically it looks the same. This car is polar white, has night package. My car is polar white, but does not have a night package. So that's a difference. But other than that, both cars are AMG line. That would be the main difference and also the interior. Mine has a little higher spec, but I will show that uh, later. So we can see now that this car also has a multi-beams and you can easily recognize multi-beams when you see these three segments. Sorry for this sound, it's just uh, AC sound, so hope it's not very loud. So you have three segments and they can cut out ongoing traffic. My car has the same. It's only 500 euro, so I recommend to buy this. 100% buy this. And I will do video how it works, etc. Before, I didn't have that on my car, so let me show you. You can recognize it easily. We have a, a lot of cars here, so for me it's easier to show you guys. So this one, for example, is Magno mountain gray and you can see this doesn't have a three segments it has this this is like a high beam this one so it has two segments this is like a main headlight and this is uh, as I said high beam and it says here LED high LED LED high performance so that's the difference and I had this before and I will tell you that the multi beam is much better. It it's uh, yeah. I, I mean the the beam itself is not like uh, much more brighter, maybe a little bit, but the way they shine on the road is a uh, whole new level. And for 500 euros, come on, so that's like a steal. So buy that for sure. Yeah. So this has also a nice package. So I can show you here that both of these cars, as I said, have multi-beams and we can continue so both of these cars are in polar white, very nice cars I mean, amazing cars and the night package, you can see clearly the difference so we can go into the night package now so here, this, like a little spoiler uh, it's black, high gloss black on my car is uh, chrome, so that's first difference. Okay, so now grill. This part here is a blacked high gloss black, as you can see. And on my car, it's like a matte aluminium. So this is also the difference, so you can see it clearly. Maybe not clearly, but hopefully you can see. Aluminium, matte, and a high gloss black. Also, I want to show the difference. When you see that the badge is like uh, smooth here on the star, it is just a hologram here. And behind this are sensors for the Distronic. And my car doesn't have it. The star is like a 3D, so this means that there's nothing here, no sensors, so you can see it. You can buy actually the same, what is here, you can buy it for my car too, but I didn't buy that. So this is flush, as you can see. This car has a two cameras. My car has a one camera, so this is for the Distronic Plus. Distronic Plus needs additional camera and these uh, like radar things uh, behind the batch. Okay, so we can continue with the nice package difference. As you can clearly see, the mirrors are black, white. The trim around the windows is uh, chrome. Here is black, high gloss black. Also, this is high gloss black. And difference is also with the wheels. So the wheels are the same shape, exactly same. 
but here you can see this is like inner side of the wheel is uh, high gloss black on my car this is a uh, dark gray I would say not same color like this but more dark here so uh, yeah this is the difference I think this is uh, like nicely done the chrome on the car it's not like a doesn't look cheap so okay so let's continue the handles are the same chrome even if you have a night package you have a chrome here and only I have the same and only you have a chrome if you have a keyless system if you don't have a keyless then you have normal like a like a body color so my tires came in Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires and because I ordered the sport tires and the like basic tires are a Hankook tires and those are uh, Ven Ventus Ventus uh, S1 what is it? Ventus S1 Evo 2 There's a difference in tires you can have also the same tires if you order that and that's for European market I'm not sure how it works in other markets Okay, so the, the tinted windows, I, uh, for me it was like a no-brainer, I need that. Without uh, tinted windows, uh, I don't want a car. So if your, if your uh, market says that you can have a tinted windows only with night package, then I would buy the night package simply uh, because of the windows. Uh, you can do like uh, tints, foils. But some, uh, sometimes uh, those companies don't do it uh, like uh, properly. So I don't want like uh, tear apart the new car and put... Uh, well, some, because some people uh, put uh, the door trim away and then they don't dismantle it correctly. Then it likes... it makes noises. So yeah, for me it's a no-brainer. And uh, yeah, so I really need... Tinted windows also is good for uh, for heat isolation and also for the styling purposes. So uh, yeah, both cars have a tinted windows, hatchback mine and this uh, sedan. Okay, so my car, uh, AMG line package, has this like aero parts automatically. You cannot uh, like. Uh, buy it so it comes automatically with the AMG package here is nothing like this because uh, it would look uh, like a funny to have something like this because it's a sedan shape so uh, there's a difference as well and night package difference you can see maybe clearly maybe not so here under the exhaust you have a line so I have a chrome line chrome line and I really like this line it looks uh, the car looks more like a sit down on the road with this line, like optically. And here you have you don't have this because night package hide it with hides it with the high gloss black color. So here is the high gloss black. Diffuser here is like MG line gives you the nice diffuser here. I really like this. Uh, the same here, so it's exactly the same. And also these arrow parts are the same on the sides, and these like a reflector things uh, are also the same so now people think that the A-Class hatchback is a lot smaller car than uh, A-Class sedan and that's not true because the dimensions of the car are the same basically only the rear part is a little bit longer but not much so that would be the only difference the size inside and the room for the passengers is the same for both cars and now we can take a look from the side I was also very curious to see that and it's not that much uh, longer so as you can see it's like uh, on camera it might be like a illusion but I would say I will, I will show in the dimensions when I will edit the video but it's not much that's why I don't like always talk how much centimeters etc because sometimes it looks almost the same here for me and it's like maybe five centimeters not not big difference you can see this line on the ground and uh, this boot of this car is uh, 
maybe a little bit over the line and here you have uh, this much space so this is good indicator this line on the ground so uh, not a big difference also the lights have a different shape but that's like a, yeah that's just a cosmetic difference so actually during night when you light it up you have this uh, these two parts here light up these LED stripes and here you have it around like a water drop you can say and the engine variant is here on the left side down and here is on the upper part on the left side on the upper part so not here but it's here there's also difference and also the rear viper here is a rear wiper and here is not because on the sedans you don't have a rear wiper you have only on hatchback and on the uh, on the sedans so if you saw me walking and uh, see this white 4x4 squared I did a video about that as well I'm not sure which video will go first live so either way uh, yeah, make sure you check that video if you are curious so yeah guys this is from the exterior point and these are all the differences and if you have a premium plus package or you can buy individually the panoramic roof then uh, it's black the roof is black and obviously you have a glass here window like this one is uh, the first part and here starts the roof it comes around to this point I would say or maybe this and this part, like here, is the body color of the mountain grain, mountain grain magno, has the panoramic roof. So I can show you nicely what I was talking about. So this first part is like a, this is like a body panel. Here you have a window. And from this side here, you have a body color. So in uh, this case, it's a uh, mountain grain magno. So uh, yeah, that's it. can see it this part is the body color and also the spoiler in the rear so that's the main difference so yeah it's not that much uh, longer it's like a few centimeters we can go and check it out from the second side so the other side and uh, I mean there is difference but not massive difference certainly you can see difference here Maybe visually it's like shorter because the window is starts here and there is already like uh, this much of a roof but uh, yeah it's not a big difference you can see this line here it goes a little bit above the, the line maybe two centimeters and here it's uh, like I don't know how much is that few centimeters so not a massive difference more is optic difference so uh, more is optic in US you have only this option but in other markets you can buy this as well in Canada for example and in Europe so that's uh, yeah I really wanted to do this review so you can see the difference okay so now I can show you the difference inside of this uh, 180D and I'm not gonna do like a super full review because uh, my time is limited today so this car doesn't have a aluminum door trim here but it has electric seats as you can see here so it's an uh, interesting spec uh, definitely and I want to show you on my car I ordered that because if you don't order the aluminum spec or, or other spec door trim then you don't have uh, ambient lighting here in this strap so uh, this is necessary for uh, me and also you have that here and there so it's much better and it costs like I don't know 250 euros or something it's not uh, that much but the uh, difference is huge and you don't have any LED stripe here some people say that yeah you can have a LED stripe here as well but it's not here so guys not here and MG line package is different here the main difference is 
the main difference here is uh, the headrest so here the headrest is disconnected it's like uh, two parts the headrest is one part and the seat is uh, like a separate part and they do that in sedans often in coupe or hatchback you have it uh, integrated so let's check out the hatchback can go from this side actually so doors don't hit each other so yeah you can see this has an integrated headrest and for me it looks much better the, this like side bolsters and seat bolsters are exactly the same so that this is just a visual difference not the functional difference so you will feel exactly the same in these seats and is at sorry <laughs> exactly the same here as uh, sedan so I can show you that uh, same thickness and also these seats are the base seats in A35 and also in A45 and A45S if you don't order the performance pack performance seats then you have these seats which I have uh, as well so yeah you can see the side bolsters everything is the same here this part you can extend it so this is as well the same so everything is the same apart from the headrest and what is for me also the difference a big difference in the back you don't have an integrated headrest as well so guys um, yeah it's not integrated because it's a sedan so on sedans they don't do that in mercedes so as you can see it has uh, not integrated i can put it here so it's like uh, so it's the same on each side so it looks like that and in my car and in coupe in CLA coupe is actually the same as in hatchback the seats so so uh, CLA coupe has the same seats as a hatchback so the, here is integrated as you can see the middle is the same but put it a little bit down but this is integrated also in the back so it looks really really good If you check out, much better. Again, the side bolsters exactly the same. Here, everything is the same, and also on the sides. Only visual difference with the headrest. But for me, this is a big difference. So, personally, I would go for the CLA. If I had only to choose between the CLA and A class sedan, because yeah, I really like these seats and the headrest. Might sound uh, like a stupid, but uh, yeah, maybe if the price difference is huge, then I would take that instead of the CLA because basically it's the same car. But yeah, I really like the headrest. So also looks cool from the here if you check out the front seats you can see this has like a hole here and yeah it looks really like uh, AMG seats and they are AMG seats so fantastic so yeah I would say the, those are the main differences uh, the length between the wheels is the same it's like I looked it up on the internet the same to the millimeter so it's the same platform guys just uh, styling of the rear is different and the headrest and uh, driving I didn't drive this car yet and I'm not gonna do it today but I will do it some sometimes but I think it's the same because it's the same platform so uh, yeah also difference is when you have a uh, uh, 180D and you have AMG package also with the hatchback I had before the same engine I had in, in my hatchback you have a, a torsion beam rear axle here and uh, if you have 180 petrol or uh, 200 petrol then you have multi-link in the rear and uh, with this one even if you don't have an AMG package you have a multi-link so hey guys those are the differences main differences between these two models 
now I want to show you the interior as I started so this one doesn't have a aluminium door trim and the battery is like dying so this is the same you can jump quickly inside actually turn this on I had this engine for a one year so I know this very well still has a foil here this is like a stock car so this has both like a large displays the 10.25 inch if you have a basic you have 7.7 seven and you have like a bezels I had in my previous car I had uh, the middle option which is called exec executive and this one was 7 inch and this one was 25 10.25 inch the same as here but here was this smaller uh, display and uh, it doesn't have a it didn't have a bezel so it was like a flush okay so that's that if you hear like a noise that's a, that's a diesel car engine noise so here you have this ambient lighting this comes with a premium package so uh, yeah this is the premium package but you can have also premium package without the aluminium door trim which goes uh, here as I show you in my car uh, also here and uh, also here and you have uh, electrical automatic electric seats which are which have uh, three memory functions you can put this this uh, part up and this part down so it's really nice automatic seats heated seats you can have ventilated seats if you have a leather package on the seats here is a dynamica which is like alcantara material here roof is beige but you can have it in black and yeah you know, this is same as in a class same dimensions uh, i know the a class very well i drove it uh, for one year and now i have a new a class so it's the same also it looks the same as a class hatchback because it essentially is the same car with a different uh, rear part so uh, you can see here uh, this has a charging uh, wireless charging um, pad for your smartphone and these two cup holders so if you want you can check out videos about my car or other like a35 uh, basically the same with tiny changes so this is mg line steering wheel very good and very thick steering wheel you have a controls here for the lights and these are the screens I will do a full review of these screens on my channel but you can quickly I can show you. this is a sport mode you can put it in a different mode so it has a, like a different styles I really like the the sport you have also like a progressive but uh, this car it doesn't have it really beautiful interior the best in the class definitely large large and door packets here it's uh, for the for the bottle and here you have like for your other stuff the Burmester sound system you can see the Burmester logo and also here and actually on my in my car I have uh, what is called the advanced audio system and I have uh, also the same logo here, but it's not in Chrome. So I'm thinking, but I don't have a Burmester here. And it's called like um, Mercedes-Benz uh, Advanced uh, Audio System. It has also a subwoofer in the boot, but the overall watts are uh, lower. So uh, I think. So I think uh, these are the. Burmester also in uh, advanced audio system but uh, these uh, are normal and also in the back you have also the Burmester uh, logo so really nice you can put here like uh, you can put it in uh, a lot of different settings and yeah this is very complex I will do a uh, full review on the MBUX you can change uh, what is in the middle what is on the side in this right instrument cluster so yeah this video will be 
very long but I hope you enjoy it and if you do then give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so you can control with this part the instrument cluster and with this one you can control the MBUX so quickly I just want to show you uh, in comfort you can put you can have a side kinet uh, seat kinetics which will essentially uh, emulate like a massage but it's not really a massage it's only that the seat is moving for example this part is moving forward backward like one dig one uh, step and also this one is moving like up and down so it's like um, yeah, interesting uh, variant of the massage and uh, here I want to show you you can control it also with this touchpad which for me is uh, easier a little bit so uh, also touch screen but then you have like a fingerprints and hate that so I don't uh, do the touch screen but you can touch also and then wipe the screen so here in the colors you can put this on 64 different colors here right now it's uh, sunny so I can't show you uh, exactly how it looks but maybe a little bit here is like a light green but I will do a full drive during night in my car and I have also the same ambient light there and just quickly you can put um, here on the multicolor and ocean blue purple sky you have uh, like a lot of options so that's that Mercedes me app you can pair your phone app with the, the car the car has a sim card and essentially you can see how much fuel you have in the tank you can see the trip stats uh, if the if the doors are open if the car is locked you can lock and unlock the car uh, again check out my Mercedes me app and I will do the update on my new car and as well here we have information for the engine and etc so we have like a graphs here of, uh, the degrees of the uh, of the car of the transmission and yeah, very nice and in the settings you have a bunch of settings so like assistance and yeah a lot of settings so I will go through this uh, in depth in my car when I will film uh, at home so now I can do full review my executive pack which have like which has like a 7 and uh, 10 for 15 inch I did a, a one hour video just for the displays so you can check that as well on my channel and yeah guys that's basically it essentially that's it I will just put this seat on the position like I would drive and then I will sit on the rear seat okay so this is I, I would drive I'm a six feet and two inches which is 186 or 87 centimeters I'm still growing actually that's funny so this is like the space And Burmester speaker, speaker, door packets, window control, and yeah, that's it. Nice sound, headrest, as I said. This is a view from the back, and I have a legroom here the seat this one also with the integrated headrest has uh, this this uh, seat is like a shaped in this variant in this like a shape so you have more space for your legs here so that's excellent so I have uh, this much space so it's fine and if I rest my uh, uh, I can leg here then I have a lot of room here as well as nobody sees like some some guys are like a shooting video review and they sit like this so nobody sit like this so everybody sits relaxed so yeah, that's that this car is more for four people uh, not really for five maybe for a short journey because is not uh, this is not like full seat and you can see it also based on the sty styling you have uh, two seats like this let me open the door it's so hot here ah, summer so it's two seat like this and in the middle you have uh, 
sometimes here we have an armrest and if you don't have then you have like small seat here so three people yes but not the big people <laughs> smaller people or kids so uh, usually it's for two people here uh, for two adults and here you have an isofix for a child seat so and seat belts here also which is very convenient you can put the seat belt like this like this and then you have a, this is like a flush and if you want to use it you can have it like this so it's very nice and you have these seats seat uh, like a nets here for uh, some things here you have uh, AC vents and uh, ashtray two USB C ports that's it so really nice so here in the back I have like this, this much space, so not huge space, but sometimes people are just relaxed in the seat. Then you can have a gain like a few centimeters, so so it's possible. Not probably for my size, but it's possible for shorter people or for my size for the city drive. But for lo for longer drive um, depends how long. So. Okay, so we can check out the boot space. Boot is like a manual. So if you press here, it will release. And automatic force will open it because there is no button. And uh, yeah, this is the boot space. I will put the liters on the screen. But uh, if you want to compare to the hatchback, This is uh, my uh, bag, and you can see how big is. Uh, I will put the liters on the screen. That's a hatchback, and here will be similar, maybe a little bit bigger. So uh, I think you can put more stuff here, definitely. Not like a dramatic difference, but there is a difference. I will put it on the screen, but actually, you can see here all, all sedans have this like a mechanism which this goes uh, down here so maybe you have a little bit lower uh, in, maybe a little bit less in here in this area but you can have uh, maybe a little bit more to the back and these are the floor mats amg floor mats uh, yeah so that's it and uh, here if you want to check this specific car uh, so you have uh, stats here for the engine and the price so yeah that's that and we can check out underneath the boot you have a subwoofer tire kit and uh, first aid kit so no spare tires like in all modern cars and if you want to close it you just grab it here and like uh, with the force you can close it so yeah here is the same but you have here the handle so it's a little bit easier to hold it you have on the left side and on the right side so yeah guys that would be it for this review very long i'm, lo I'm looking at my footage and it would be a longer video but i uh, like to do the detailed video so it's uh, it has a value for you so you can choose the car which you want so if I do five minute video, then you would didn't know everything. So, so yeah, guys, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then give this video a like. It takes like two seconds and help the channel to grow. Subscribe for plenty more videos with my car and with other cars. Plenty videos on my channel, as you know. Three videos a week or two or four, depending how much time I have be, beside my work. So yeah, guys, that's it. Subscribe. Give us a like, comment down below what you think and which you prefer, the hatchback uh, or the sedan or CLI Coupe, so let me know. Maybe even shooting break or yeah, a lot of compact cars, maybe B-Class, GLB. So let me know which one you like and I'm curious which one you like. So yeah guys, that's it and I'll see you soon in the next video. Have a great day.